Hey everyone, I'm Laurencio and in this video I'm going to talk about all World Tour Soccer games for the Sony PSP. World Tour Soccer are hidden gems on the PSP. You've probably never heard about the games, but man are they good. Many of the World Tour Soccer real soccer teams include international, club, classic and special squads. You can unlock more teams and winning any of the game 7 cup tournaments will unlock a super team and you can also unlock more stadiums. When you start the game you'll be prompted with 70 teams and there are 8 stadiums in the game. This way the game is rewarding the more you play, whether that you play cups, tournaments or the challenge mode. There is always stuff to unlock. Also the challenge mode is a mode more games should have. You are given a score to reach and by doing stuff like passing or dribbling or scoring you get points and the challenge is to accumulate enough points to get bronze, silver or gold medals. The gameplay is intuitive and great. With the shoulder button you can dribble and with the select button you can toggle between 6 strategies for your team. Not even FIFA or PES has this feature. World Tour Soccer 2006 has a new mode. World Tour, where you play a series of challenges. You start from Africa and progress. It's like the challenge mode bar, but more organized. Also the challenge mode was renamed into medal mode. And you get a new feature, local ad hoc multiplayer. The first game didn't have such a feature, but this one does. So that now in World Tour Soccer 2006, also called World Tour Soccer 2, you get this feature so you can play the game with friends and world tour soccer 2 as i mentioned is actually 2006 it's the same game but released with a different name in europe it's called world tour soccer 2 while in the us it got the name world tour soccer 2006 also the main interaction of the two games is the challenge mode you get all sorts of different tasks to complete whether it is an all-rounder shot clock the zone totally outnumbered time attack challenge plus pass clock checkpoint or player tag the game encourages skill and punishes sloppiness the controls are nicely mapped so that you can dribble your way through everything and the in-game commentary adds flavor to the games Overall, the games are fantastic arcade soccer games that you should definitely check out. They don't occupy much space on your memory card, but they sure are a lot of fun. And I consider them hidden gems. 